Shalom, brothers and sisters. So, <clears throat> I've touched on this and I've posted on the community wall what Netanyahu had to say about it, but let's delve into it a bit more. Outrage as new proposed bill in the Knesset in Israel will send Christians to jail for witnessing to Jews about salvation in Jesus Christ. Two members of the government are pushing a bill that will send Christians to jail for telling Jews how to get saved. And just like that, we're back in the book of Acts. Why? Possibly because the church age is ending. The legislation introduced by United Torah Judaism MK's Moshe Gafni and Yaakov Asher would apply to anyone who would attempt to persuade someone from changing their religious beliefs. The legislation, however, specifically notes that attempts of missionary groups, mainly Christians, to solicit conversion of religion have increased. The UTJ bill further outlaws sharing New Testament theology via online videos, online articles, social media, written literature and other forms of media. It further stipulates one year imprisonment for explaining faith in Jesus to an adult and two years imprisonment if discussing it with a minor. The bill's primary objective, therefore, appears to be making it illegal for followers of Jesus, Yeshua, to explain why they believe that Jesus is the Messiah and God with the hope that Israelis might consider following him. Right, so number one, it is about time for this thing to finally pass and become law and people to crack down on us believers. We're leaving. And they're going to smack down 10 times harder on believers in the tribulation because they can't have the truth anywhere near those needing to be saved. It's part of the plan. They've been trying to push this bull for many decades and every time it's defeated. Maybe this time it won't be defeated. I know when I was in Israel many, many, many years ago, we knew about the child part of this law. So when we went out and we preached and we ministers, we had a time limit. That time limit was very short and we had to watch the clock. We had spotters, believe it or not, that would be positioned all around our position where we were ministering. And they would spot when the ultra-Orthodox would start arriving or making phone calls so that we could escape via alternate and differing routes so that they couldn't catch all of us at once. That is how bad it was back then when I was doing mission work in Israel. It's only become worse. And if they caught you speaking to a child, they locked you up. So what they would do a lot of the times is they would send one of their children in to try and bait you into ministering to that child. And then they would have you on the spot. So anti-Christian has been there since the time that Jesus was on the earth. And they've still got that reaction. And they're still trying to push it into law. They literally, and this is where Ben Gavir comes in for me. He literally sees it as an attack on the Jews, as bad as the German attacks against the Jews in World War II. It is us trying to destroy them by giving them Christ. So they react militarily and violently against any attempts at conversion to Jesus Christ and Christianity. And what freaked me out the most and upset me when I was in Israel at that time is it was fine for their children to go to the military, do their military service, and usually what they do after that is they take a gap year or two, they travel the world, they go to India, they smoke weed, and they follow other religions, they become Hindus or Buddhists or anything, and they're welcome at home. No problem. They can do anything. No problem. New Age, I bet they could become Satanists, and they'd be fine. But if they mention Jesus... Or well, they mention Christianity. They will be disowned and written off as if they are dead. That is how seriously the hatred and the antagonism and the anger against the truth is. And that is the truth. So now I'm not shocked or surprised that these two in government are trying to push this through and make it law. And yes, Netanyahu said he will stand against it and not allow it to happen. But... Netanyahu currently, this is not his strongest iteration of government. He, he was better off in his previous attempts at government. In this one, he's been pushed around a lot by the ultra-Orthodox. And he's almost, how can I say, swimming with the wave. 
So if they push hard enough, they might just get this one right. Am I worried about that? No, because I'm that crazy tinfoil guy who thinks, awesome, another sign of the times. And would that stop me from preaching the gospel in Israel if I was there right now? No. Put me in jail and I'll start preaching to your prisoners and your gods. What are you going to do then? Put me in solitary confinement. Then I'll preach to the guy who brings me food. We need to persist in our faith and our mission. We are not cowed or pushed down by man. We do not have any fear of man. We only trust and fear God. He is the final authority and he is the one we love and serve. So yes, you can pray about this and you can pray about the situation. Those are my feelings on it. That is my experience in it. And it didn't stop me back then and it wouldn't stop me now. And I'm hoping and praying that for those who are in that mission field now still, they would have the same opinion. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.